Your stare is so misleading You're so beautiful Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a dramatic Valentine's makeup look and it's more with working with magentos and gold. I hope it's coming out um, on camera because I can see that it's all looking red and I hope um, once it, I upload this video that it won't look red. If not, I'm terribly sorry, but I swear to you, it's magenta pink and it's very gorgeous. Unless it's probably the lighting, but I can promise you I'm getting pretty good lighting so far. And I want to let you guys know something. I am doing a giveaway. You might want to go ahead and check out my one of my previous videos and go and check that out. So if you want to learn how I got this dramatic Valentine's Day makeup look right her, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so to start off, I'm going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. Um, translucent powder and applying it under my eyes to help brighten up my under eyes. But at the same time, we'll be catching any fallout. Next, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline color tattoo in this gold. And I'm going to use this as a base, but only on my lids. And I'm going to just apply it with my finger. Takes this heart, makes it be for you all. Next, I'm going to go in with this gold eyeshadow from MAC and it's in gold mine. I'm going to use uh, this eyeshadow on top of the Maybelline tattoo um, color base and applying this eyeshadow with my index finger again and applying it. Next, I'm going to apply Rule. Is it Rule? Let's see. Yeah, it's from Rule. Um, I mean, it's Rule and it's an orange eyeshadow. And it's from MAC as well. And I'm going to use this as a transition shade. Next, I am going to be taking my Morphe Brushes eyeshadow, and this is Rosewood. It's a very beautiful eyeshadow, I swear to you. <laughs> it's, a, it's supposed to be like a magenta, purpley pink type. I don't know, it came out really red, like on camera, I swear. It's beautiful if you were to see this eyeshadow in person. Actually, Jaclyn Hill has it in her palette. Um, and if you have it, use it. Like, I swear, you'll see the color that I'm talking about. It's that magenta color and it's my favorite if i would have known the camera would have come out like a wrong different color on camera i should have like picked up like a like more of a pinky side but who knows maybe it is my camera is just picking up the wrong color but maybe it's just time for me to pick up a different camera Ugh. Next, I am going in. <coughs> Sorry. Next, I am going in with um, Rule, and it's from Mac. And um, again, the camera's not picking up, but I recommend if you try it yourself. It's so gorgeous. Like you'll see what I mean. To deepen up the crease, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow and it's a burgundy gorgeous eyeshadow and I'm going to use that on my outer V of my LA. For my inner corner of my eye, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. half-baked eyeshadow and it's just so gorgeous. You can even use this as a highlight, guys. 
Oh my goodness, you'll see what I mean on the end of my video. I swear, I have like different personalities in every video. It's crazy. There's one video I'm like serious, the other one where I'm not, and the other one where I can be extremely hyper. And I guess I'm having one of those days where I'm extremely hyper. I did not know. Now I'm gonna use this blending brush and just buffing out all my eyeshadows so it can look beautiful and no harsh lines will be there. You go cause you everything to me. Don't let there be In case if you guys are scared of using white eyeliners, I'm gonna go ahead and use a bulletproof beige jumbo pencil and apply it under my I mean apply it in my waterline and this is from Rundle London and the product is called Skin Lab. And the shade is in bulletproof beige. Um, now from my lower lash line, I'm gonna go back with Rule, and again it's from Mac, and I'm gonna use that as a transition shade, and then I'm gonna go back with um, the magenta beautiful eyeshadow, and I'm gonna apply it close to my lash line. Just Don't you know it's meant to be. Again, I'm going to go with my e.l.f. burgundy eyeshadow and deepen it up more on top of that magenta eyeshadow. And I forgot to mention, when using the beige eyeliner, this is going to help your eyes make it look bigger. And now I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl mascara and if you're wondering what type of mascara it is, it's the Star Wars collection. I know I've been using this for a while, oh my goodness, but um, it be has became one of my favorites because of the, the brush, the comb. But eventually, sometime in the future, I'm going to go back with my um, L'Oreal telescopic mascara. I'm just waiting until this product finishes. Um, but anyways, I'm going to be applying, I'm all late, <laughs> I'm going to be applying the mascara on my top lashes and my bottom. Here is the part where I thought like I was swiping off the axis of the translucent powder and then I got a clean pow um, powder brush and I'm just swiping off any axis under my eyes. And now I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes before applying um, liquid liner or falsies, so always do that first. Now I'm going to go ahead with my liquid eyeliner and it's from NYC, very popular. And I'm going to go ahead and do a wing. Sorry, it wasn't showing in camera, I swear, like, it's every time I'm going to film a tutorial or whatever, like, um, and I'm only doing makeup on one eye. I always forget you have to do the other side so that way y'all can see. I'm so sorry. Please don't be mad. Um, and also if you want a tutorial on how to do a wing eyeliner, um, request it and let me know. And if I see a lot of requests on that, I will be glad to do it for you. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply some eyelashes. And I do have a tutorial on how to apply false eyelashes. Um, and these eyelashes are in Grand Galore. I've been using them a lot lately and they're so beautiful. And now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild contour palette and apply it in my inner cheek. Then, no, not my cheekbone, sorry. My inner cheeks. My inner cheek. And just contouring. And I'm going to be contouring my nose. This is so beautiful. And now I'm going to be getting um, one of my favorite blushes that I got from my Boxy Charm and applying it on my um, cheeks. <laughs> and now I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyeshadow and I'm using this as a highlight and now you'll see what I mean. It's super cool. I love it. Um, it's so beautiful. I think this one's called Enchanted. And I'm applying some highlight on my nails and my cutie gel. 
For lips, I am going to go in with a nude lip liner, and this one's from NYX. And I'm just gonna be a little bit outlining my lips, not so much. Um, I sh honestly I should have gone with more of like cashmere, and maybe that would have looked super cute. Um, but that's totally up to you. Whichever lip color you go for, it's totally up to you. As long as you go with more neutrals and nothing so dark, because. You already have something on going on in your eyes. In your eyes, okay? Okay. You've got that something that I need. And you know it's killing me. Don't you know it's meant to be? Now for lips, I am going to take Maybelline lipstick in Dangerly Nude and just applying it all over my lips. And then I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Setting Spray and this is going to help make your makeup last all day and it will also help for our oily skin. Um, just a quick reminder, don't forget uh, to go and check out my giveaway video. I am doing a giveaway and there is going to be three winners so go ahead and check out how you can win and what are the rules are to winning. You've got a smile that kills me Your stare is so misleading You're so beautiful That is the completed look. I hope y'all enjoyed this makeup tutorial I did for you guys. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave the comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about this video. If you want me to do something not so dramatic, I will go ahead and do something else. I'm getting a lot of requests for me to film more of a lookbook video or makeup and outfit video. I'm so excited and looking forward to it. It makes me wonder why did I ever stop filming those kind of videos? I mean, they were so fun. I have no idea. I even questioned myself, why did I stop? I mean, they were so cute. So I'm going to try to go ahead and bring that back. And if you are new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel to receive more upcoming videos from me. And so you won't miss out any videos that are coming. And I have nothing else to say, but I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you on my next one. I've been trying to get this fly out of my house and it doesn't want to leave.